Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got a look at several space weather notes. We've got science on magnetic biology, the speed of gravity, and we're going to see a study on the heat blob under the United States and my best interpretation of it. Let's get started with the last 24 hours on our star where we find the sun was fairly calm on the Earth facing half once again. The far side is still erupting quite powerfully, but for now it's the calm patient wait for the return of solar activity. And as of yesterday, the coronal hole stream was settling in and that has continued this morning. We said it would last about a day or two, but no further amplifications were expected and the stream has indeed stabilized. Geomagnetic storm conditions actually have not been reached again since yesterday morning. The sunspots facing us right now aren't total duds, but they definitely lack the size and interactive complexity to fire major solar flares. We're still probably 48 hours away from seeing the signs of those bigger far side sunspots reaching the limb to return over on the left, but meanwhile that is a monster plasma filament coming into view, isn't it? Big guy lurching forward towards earth facing longitudes and there's one on the south climbing over the limb now. While the southern coronal hole bottom right here is the cause of the solar wind enhancement at earth right now left side equator there's the next corona hole incoming now and we'll have eyes on that too up first in the articles no major revelations here but a solid literature review of magnetic fields and biology unlike many similar studies this one hits hypomagnetic fields as well what happens when you lose the magnetic field as observers would expect tons of impacts tons of things in here that make your mind go to Earth's magnetic pole shift. Up next, you ever wondered what the speed of gravity is? I am going to preface this with the fact that I don't think gravitational wave science is the best science we have, but if we also need to know the official numbers everyone else is using, the speed of gravity is basically the speed of light. 0.15 zeros after the decimal one in terms of a fraction slower or if one full distance is traveled by light in a period of time gravity would get this far just about a photo finish top story today hits the moving heat blob under the united states now i haven't given this as much focus because it's not exactly moving quickly like geologically slow but the most recent paper on the feature and underground anomaly has me looking at this a bit differently. Folks, this is the type of data that may just tell us which parts of the land are going to rise and which will fall and sink in the mantle heaving of the great disaster. And based on the weakness and disconnected nature of the structures in focus here, I think the northern half of the Appalachians might sink all the way up through New England and east to the coast, like the Atlanta sinking scene from Aquaman. I am now obsessed with getting this data for the entire world. We have work to do. Folks, the winter tour begins in three days, Omaha, Nebraska, 17 days until San Diego. We'll get squared away on the disaster elements and then we're going to dissect how we're going to survive it. You'll leave with tons of thinking done for you and a plan to just act right away. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.